All right, we're going inside the Grand Design Reflection 100 series, 100 series, 28 RL. You know what grade is it? Is it? Hitch weight is 1348. 1348, 1300 for hitch weight. Still gonna have that. Okay. What you think? Spacious. Yeah. I like the seating layout better. And I do like that there's extra counter space. It's actually pretty nice for the TV. That TV could be a little bit bigger, though. Well, that's because you're used to a bigger TV. <laughs> No, I like this. They're actually doing this in here, too. We got the table chairs and yeah. then the bench. It's nice. And you got another couch. You pull this couch out, put it in an office, or leave it. Oh, I'll bet you that's a hide bed Yep. That's some deep storage. Yeah, some deep storage on the side. Is it uh, soft clothes? No. No? Okay, it's so the same. No soft clothes. No, uh, I'll bet you no dovetail. Yeah, no dovetail. Not bad for sturdiness. Stainless steel sink. That's nice. Under counter stainless steel sink. What do we got here? A brochure storage. Got a brochure or bread storage, depending if it's sold or not. The three burner? Yep. Three burner gas stove and a Tiny, tiny oven. You could probably get half a frozen pizza. If you're creative, you might be able to fit a full one if you can find the right cookie sheet. Yeah, see the bench with the storage and then the chairs That's there. That just, yeah, so that gives you so much, so many options. Let's go take a look at the bathroom and the bedroom. Oh. It's kind of. Is it narrow? Very narrow. Is it got any bigger? Yeah, narrow I'm doorway. That's, that's probably a two foot wide opening. Shower's still pretty good size. Yeah, though. shower's still, shower's a good size. No skylight there. You got your cheap fart fan, so you're gonna wanna upgrade that. Plastic sink. Go ahead and take that camera for me. I'm gonna stand in here. I'm only five foot seven, but there's plenty of room here. And I'm st I'm still worried about the shoulder to shoulder room going this way. But this way, you should just be fine to lather up. Uh, if you're a big person, that's gonna be a tight fit though. Got a closet over here. And then a couple drawers. I think that was a motion activated light. It was. Once I opened the door, it turned on. And it looks like a little bit of shoe storage right here. And then. Like those sconces. Those are pretty. Yeah, those are neat. Got some bed storage. It doesn't go all the way the length of the bed, but you can definitely fit some stuff in there. And then you got a couple. Got your cabinets here. And then you have a nightstand. These don't go all the way back. So you only have maybe eight, six to eight inches of uh, depth there. Tight. So not a whole lot of outside storage. Um, but we'll show you what it has. So you got full pass through storage. Um, you be really difficult. I don't know if you could fit um, recliner camping chairs in there. Propane storage. There's one on each side. Your front bay. Solar charger. I don't know how many watts, but I'll put a. Um, I'll put the info on the screen for you. Looks like, what is that? One, 
1000 watt inverter, got your power station and the battery box. I like it when they do these because when you, you have to vent lead acid batteries, so they do the tube to the vent outside. But if you're gonna switch over to lithium, you don't need to vent them. Um, they don't off gas. So other RVs we're seeing are having cutouts in the floor right here. So if you're gonna put lithium, you'd actually have to cover that cutout. This one is just surface mounted. So you just remove this box here and you can put lithiums all the way across. So that's the Grand Design Reflection 100 Series 28 RL. For the price, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, looks like the show price is 46,000. It's not bad for a trailer. The total weight and tongue weigh of this, definitely three quarter ton towable.